The Catholic Church had been at the forefront of the campaign against mining. But what do you say if you knew that at least two archdioceses have been listed as shareholders of big mining companies? Patricia Ongchako has this in-depth report exclusive. It's been 14 years since the Catholic Church launched its anti-mining campaign. Since then, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines' National Secretariat for Social Action has been calling on the government to scrap the Mining Act and protect the environment as well as the people affected by mining. Hindi kami naniniwala sa mga sinasabi ng mga mining companies na nagbibigay sila ng benefits kasi ang mga, mga benefits ay bibigay ay napakaliit ano, compared to the destruction that's being done to the community and to the environment. But records of one of the top mining corporations in the country show the Archdiocese of Manila and the Archdiocese of Zamboanga have been among its top 100 shareholders. Felix Mining Corporation records show the Archdiocese of Manila ranked 19 among their shareholders in September 2008 and placed 15 in March 2011 with total shares of over 3 million. Pabilio says as soon as the Archdiocese of Manila discovered that they had been investing in the mining company, they pulled out their investment immediately. Kasi na, na, nung uh, nilabas yun, nakita namin na mayroon kami mga shares noon na, na dumating mga 1950s. No? At napakaliit yata ang, ang amount ng share, hindi ko alam, basta napakaliit. Ngayon tinanggal na namin yun. Uh, hindi dapat mag-invest no? The reports of Felix mining after June last year no longer reflected the Manila Archdiocese. But Felix records also show the Archdiocese of Zamboanga climbed the shareholders' ladder from the 87th rank in September 2008 to the 65th rank just last March, which is their latest report to date. The total shares of Zamboanga Archdiocese reached over 1 million as of the latest Felix report. Until the government scraps the Mining Act of 1995, the Catholic Church vows to continue fighting for the cause. Patricia Ongshako, Solar News. There are a number of bills pending in Congress aimed at regulating the mining industry. Stephanie Onkiko takes a look at these proposed laws. Since the start of the 15th Congress, the House of Representatives has already approved two mining bills. One is the Act Regulating the Practice of Mining Engineering in the Philippines, authored by Zamboanga del Sur Representative Victor Yu, and the other is an Act Declaring the Province of Romblon a Mining-Free Zone, authored by Romblon Representative Eliandro Madrona. Both measures have been transmitted to the Senate in June and August of 2011. So far, there are 11 pending bills in the House related to mining, most of which are still on the committee level. One seeks to protect the rights of indigenous people affected by mining operations, while another prohibits the use of toxic chemicals by mining firms. There is also a bill which declares the city of Cagayan de Oro a mining-free zone and a measure authorizing provincial government units to issue permits for both small and large-scale mining subject to the guidelines of the Mines and Geosciences Bureau. Aside from this, there is an act amending the Philippine Mining Act of 1995 in a bill requiring mining firms to reforest lands that they destroy. Most of the mining bills are referred to the Committee on Natural Resources, chaired by Surigao del Norte Representative Francisco Matugas, and Ecology Committee headed by Laguna Representative Dan Fernandez. Stephanie Onkiko, Solar News.